Um, I think first it started with our coaching. I think they did a great scout and were able to give us information that let our blockers get in great spots, um, take their, um, what do you call it, tendencies. And then our defense was able to just set up around that. And I feel like it worked really smooth. We were able to make adjustments when we needed to. But yeah, it was a team effort for sure. How fun was that 12-0 run in the first half? I think you had three blocks during that. What is it like when the team is humming like that? Yeah, humming. That's a great way to describe it. Um, it just felt really smooth, and um, we've just been working a lot on finding our groove, finding our system as a team, regardless of who's in. And I just feel like that was very well displayed tonight, especially in that 12-point run. Yeah, humming. That's a great way. Yeah. It was really 12. My, Dang. Guess, my guess was 11. Awesome. There we go. That's crazy. Yeah. <laughs> crazy. Crazy. Plus, what do you think about Kennedy approaches that, that serving job and attacking that position, I guess? Yeah, I mean, I don't think anyone realizes how tough of a job that is to yeah. come in cold after who knows how many points or how many minutes and to get consistent serves and then get them out of system for 12 consecutive points. I mean, that's really hard to do, and for someone who just comes off the bench and does that and plays great defense, I mean, all credit to her. But yeah, I don't know. I don't know how she does it. If I'm being honest. Yeah. Coach, we, we, we heard from Lexi, we Rebecca. We, what, what were the tendencies that you were reading up there that kind of allowed the defense to really shine tonight? Yeah, so we had a feeling that um, with it being such a fast offense, it really limits what the attacker will be able to hit. And so the biggest thing was making sure I was sealing the net low um, and obviously sealing down so they weren't able to access zone six as well. Um, and then from there, it was just making sure that I was reaching and trying to help Lex out as much as possible, as if she needs it. But um, yeah, I guess the biggest thing was making sure I was sealing that low seam because when the, when the set is coming at you that fast, your best bet is just trying to hit it super hard. Um, and I just think that Bergen and Merritt set up really great blocks. So, yeah, tendencies, just low seam. So, yeah. Lexi, they have a number of jump servers. How much more difficult does that make your job? Um, it Not just depends. <laughs> <laughs> um, I think we, we prep um, really well. The coaches prep us very well to face jump servers, and we know what we need to do. We're dialed in on the seams and the communication, and – I mean, at the end of the day, we know we just got to get it high so Bergen can run the offense. But personally, I kind of like passing jump serves. So, what do you like about it? It's just it's just fast, less time to think. Yeah. I mean, you're you're headed back on the road again to Iowa next week too. I mean, are you, are you is this the grind you're used to, or is it like I want, do you have enough time to relax and kind of regroup after this hockey? I would say, um, especially with the past few weeks we've had, we've had to kind of like get into a routine of being on the road, um, finding time for ourselves, but also just recovering and getting ready to travel and making sure we have all of our ducks in a row, whether it's school, socially, volleyball, whatever it is. And so I think this one, just a midweek game, I think we'll be able to kind of get in routine and handle it well. Rebecca, well, 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 for you, I mean, how, how much of a grind has this month been with multiple road trips and getting to the late, later stages of the season? Yeah, it's been tough, especially in the later part of the season. You start to feel it on your body. You start to feel it on your mind. And um, Coach talks about it all the time. He goes, this is the point in the season where teams start to take off or they settle. And, um, you know, December's been on a lot of our minds, honestly, since last year. And so, yeah, I just say, like, with the times that we do have off, even if it's just two hours, just – being present and not taking it for granted, like the whole burning time stuff we try not to do. Mm -hmm. um, but, yeah, I think a midweek game will be nice. I think it will be a good switch up, kind of refresh the mind, figure out how to adapt, especially this late in the season. I think that kind of change is so rare. And so keeping us on our toes is, I think, what we need. So it will be good. Is your recovery any different? I mean, you didn't play that third set too. I mean, it, do you feel different after not playing the full three sets or – a short night like tonight? Uh, find out tomorrow. <laughs> um, but, yeah, I mean, 
I try and go as hard as I can, even if I'm in just for a set. And so it just varies. And even the day before, I was going hard in practice. And so sometimes the days blend together on where I was actually sore from. And so I don't know. We'll find out. <laughs> so, but yeah, Layla did great. So. All good. Thank you. Cool. Thank, Thank you. you, guys.